Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to another CloudPath tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be launching a simple WordPress site on AWS using Amazon EC2. This is a really simple and straightforward setup, and it only takes about five to 10 minutes from start to finish. So if that sounds good, stick around and let's get started. All right, guys, so uh, this method makes use of a single EC2 instance to host our WordPress site. So just a quick disclaimer before we get started. Now, if you're planning on launching a large enterprise level application with high scalability needs, then this is probably not the best approach. There are other recommended architectures out there that make more use of load balancing, caching, auto scaling, and re relational databases. However, with this approach, the, the cost can get into the you know, hundreds of dollars per month. On the other hand, if you're looking to set up a simple WordPress site for a small to medium sized website or blog for personal or business use, then uh, the single EC2 instance approach covered in this tutorial should be a great way to go. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and log into our AWS console. All right, and let's go ahead and navigate to EC2. So if you don't see it right here under recently visited, just go ahead and type it into the search box, EC2. And this should bring us to the EC2 landing page. All right, so from here, what, what we wanna do is click on launch instance. All right, so here we are at step one, choose an Amazon machine image. Um, so an AMI is basically a blueprint for a virtual machine. And it specifies what operating system it will be running, what software will be installed, what volumes will be attached, launch permissions, and other configuration parameters. All right, so as you can see here on this list, there are several pre-configured AMIs to choose from. And some of them are provided by Amazon, others are provided by other vendors. Um, but they all have, you know, different combinations of software and operating systems. So what we can do is go over to the AWS Marketplace here on the left and we can search for a specific configuration, and that is uh, an AMI that has WordPress installed. So let's go ahead and type in WordPress in the search bar and hit enter. All right, and we're gonna go with the very first search result here, which is WordPress certified by Bitnami and Automatic. Um, and as they mention here, this is free tier eligible. Make my font a little bit bigger here. So if you're within the free tier of your new Amazon account, the cost will be $0. And even if you're beyond that one year window, um, as you'll see on the next screen, the cost is just a few dollars per month. All right, so let's go ahead and click select over on the right hand side. All right, now this is kind of uh, just a summary of, of what this AMI contains and some of the, the pricing. All right, and we're going to go ahead and go with a T2 micro, which should be plenty of size for a you know small to medium size blog or website. So let's go ahead and click continue. All right, now we're at step two, which is choose an instance type. Um, here we're just specifying the size, you know, how much storage we want our EC2 to have. So let's go ahead and click on T2 micro, which again is free tier eligible. All right, and let's go ahead and move to the next step. We'll click on next configure instance details. All right, we're gonna leave everything here set to default. So we don't need to make any changes on the screen. Let's go ahead and click add storage. Again, we're gonna leave all the defaults selected here. We don't need any particular um, additional storage or anything like that for our simple WordPress blog. So let's click next add tags. All right, I'm just gonna add a tag to uh, help identify this uh, AMI later. So I'll say name, and let's just say WordPress blog, okay? Um, and let's go ahead and click on review and launch. All right, I'm just checking that the instance type is what we selected and everything else here looks good. So we can go ahead and click on launch Select an existing key pair or create a new key pair. All right, so you'll need a key pair in order to SSH into your virtual machine later on, you know, after it's been created. We don't necessarily need to do that here since we've selected an AMI image with WordPress pre-installed. 
Um, there's no additional configuration or software that we'll need to install in our EC2 instance. Um, but I would suggest that you go ahead and download the key pair just in case you want to log in later for any other reason. So let's, let's go ahead and select create a new key pair and just give it a name. Uh, I don't know. Let's just say Word, WordPress blog, oh, blog, not blob. WordPress blog key pair. That should do it. And just go ahead and download that key pair and, you know, keep it somewhere safe for future reference. All right. Um, with that, we can go ahead and click on launch instances. All right. So behind the scenes, Amazon is actually creating our EC2 instance, our virtual machine. Um, you'll see this little status message here. Your instances are now launching. So what we can do is just monitor the progress of this thing by, I believe we can click on um, this ID right here, this instance ID. Let's try that. I think this is the right place. Yes. Okay, good. So this brings us back to our EC2 um, console and we can kind of see the status here running. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. This will take a couple of minutes to provision. And um, once it's done, I'll come back and we'll, we'll go ahead and test it out by plugging our IP address into the browser, and we should see our WordPress site up and ready for us to configure. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll be back in a flash. All right, so it's been just a couple of minutes and now I see that the instant state is running, so that means our provisioning of the EC2 instance is complete. So what we can do is go ahead and copy and paste, oops, our um, IPv4 public IP address from our console into the browser. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And there we go, there's our Hello World WordPress site. So obviously this is just the default site uh, with no customization whatsoever. Um, so now let's look at how we can actually log into the admin panel of WordPress and start to do our work, our customization work. So what we wanna do is swing back over to the EC2 console and we want to make sure that our WordPress EC2 instance is selected. Now let's go to the Actions drop-down. <clears throat> uh, let's go to Instance Settings and Get System Log. All right, so that's going to bring up a log for our WordPress EC2 instance. Now if we scroll down, we should find the password um, somewhere in here that's easy to discover. Um, it's surrounded by some asterisks. Where is it? Keep scrolling, aha, there it is right there. So um, you'll just see it, it's, you know, it's surrounded by all these hashes. I don't know, I can't tell you exactly what line it's on, but uh, it's pretty recognizable. So just scroll down until you see something like, you know, password set to this and username is user. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste the password and I'm just gonna remember that my username is user. So let's go back to the browser and what we want to do here is right after the IP address, just type in a slash admin. Okay, and that should bring the login panel up. There we go. So type in user for the username and go ahead and paste in your password. Log in. Oh no, password you entered is incorrect. Let me make sure I copied the right thing here. Paste, let's try that again. There we go, yeah, I must have copied the wrong thing or had you know some old data in my clipboard still. Um, but anyway, here we are, and we are ready to start customizing the site. Uh, now, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that in this tutorial. This is just like really how to launch WordPress in AWS, um, but there's tons of great tutorials out there on you know how to build a WordPress site, how to customize it, how to choose your templates, and all that good stuff. So there you have it. There is a WordPress site up and running in AWS in, I think, like just more than five minutes. And half of that was probably me talking. So you could probably do it in like two minutes if you really wanted. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so, you know, the one other thing you may want to do is obviously put like a custom domain in place instead of your IP address. I'm not going to cover that right now. Um, you know, I've talked about that in other videos. I've got a, you know, launch your website in S3 
video where I go over in detail how to put a custom domain in place. So, you know, I'm not going to bore you guys with that here. Just go ahead and check out that video. Uh, the process is very similar, only here we're dealing with EC2 instead of S3. Um, but if you have any problems with any part of the process, just feel free to leave comments and I will help you guys out as soon as I can. All right, well, that is it for today. So thanks for your attention and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel, CloudPath, if you found this or my other videos useful. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.